So the University of Illinois College of Engineering is, is extremely highly ranked. You know, it is ranked about five in among the, all the colleges, both private and public. Um, we have about 15 programs, uh, degree programs mm -hmm. that are in top five. Uh, engineering can make a difference. Uh, you know, we all know that engineering can make things and we know engineering can design things. But what drives me is that I think engineering can actually find solutions to common uh, problem of humanity. Is This is the place where people have invented computer and YouTube and you know, the mosaic, the first computer, first uh, web browser. You get to see people who have really done these things. And uh, that's really exciting if you come to University of Illinois. You can be part of that ecosystem where there's a lot of innovation and entrepreneurship. I would strongly encourage students who are interested in applying to ISC, especially those who are interested in real world problems. We have a very strong and growing group in this department who are looking at problems that are at the cutting edge today. And if you look at all the recent um, um, achievements of uh, students who are yet to graduate, we'll be dumbfounded. I feel that all this is possible just by the training and the exposure that they get uh, by being in ISC and taking uh, courses uh, in ISC as well as outside and in general being in Illinois by itself. We're in the Department of Industrial and Enterprise Systems Engineering, which is also known as ISC. This is one of the departments in the College of Engineering at the University of Illinois, and it's a, it's a unique department. It has two degrees, Systems Engineering and Design and Industrial Engineering. Industrial Engineering is, well, it's a, it's a pretty quantitative and in some ways abstract degree. Um, I like to think about it as engineering under constraints or how to think about engineering under constraints. There are constraints on everything we do, time, money, human beings, and how do we actually think about going, going through an engineering process or engineering decisions under these constraints. We may also have uncertainty. Um, so how do all of these things get put together? How do we include them in some sort of quantitative model that we can think about and discuss when we're going through the engineering process? So that ends up often being thinking about a number of mathematical models. These and a number of other things can be mathematically quantified as well. We want to do the best that we can given certain constraints. Our systems engineering and design degree helps students understand how interrelated systems are designed or can be designed to work together. Many things in the modern world reflect uh, an interesting or a complicated interrelationship between, well, data, physical systems, and mechanical systems. So how do we actually think about those? How do we engineer such complicated systems? Maybe think about an airplane. In order to understand an airplane or to, or to make it work, you need to understand, well, fluid dynamics and how the, the wings actually work. Well. Many parts of an airplane are run by computer. You also need to d decide how to actually get the computing system to work within, within an airplane. And they're also, of course, mechanical. You have certain mechanical constraints that you have to observe. So all of these things have to work together. The secondary field option and in the track option for the IE students, um, it's an opportunity to really customize your degree program to really engineer your own career along the way. You can really personalize it if you have the goal of, say you want to work in the automotive industry, you might choose 12 hours of cohesive coursework that will allow you to work in whatever specific area of that industry that you might want to pursue. Um, we have a number of students that like to follow the business line. In the track options we have economic and finance. In um, systems engineering and design, you have multiple secondary field options that you can choose from. Business systems integration and consulting is one of the most popular ones, but we also have engineering marketing and engineering administration. 
And so students can pursue courses in a field outside of engineering that applies in to their degree program and helps them complete their degree. And the nice part about that customization or, or opportunity to specialize outside of engineering is it really makes you uh, more diverse and prepared in the work world. And we find that the companies that hire our students like that they don't have to retrain in business concepts because they're getting that within their degree program. We have multiple student organizations in the department. So our primary organization is IISE, which is the Institute of Industrial and Systems Engineers. It is um, really a group that encompasses everything. So they do professional development and training. They bring in recruiters who specifically want to hire our students. They do social activities and they love to do outreach to the campus and the community at large as well. Um, we also have INFORMS, which is a specialty organization for students with specific interests in, say, data analytics or operations research, supply chain manufacturing and logistics. We also encourage our students to get engaged in organizations like Women in Engineering um, through Society of Women Engineers or uh, SHIP or NSBE. It's really important to get engaged in that way and start creating that network. The highlights of our curricula that you hear from alums are that ability to customize in the secondary field option for systems engineering and design students and the track option for industrial engineering students. But the other major selling point is really that uh, senior engineering project, that capstone project, uh, SE 494, 495. And that is a really unique opportunity for students to work in a company on a real-time problem that they're having. It's not something we recycle. It's not just a project that we're using. It is that real-world hands-on experience that companies really want you to have. I mean, really honestly, how many times do you hear somebody say, well, I didn't get a job because they wanted me to have more experience. We're gonna provide that experience for you. We provide you with the resources. You're gonna be paired with your peers, a small team to, to work with a company on a real-time problem that they're having. That's invaluable opportunity right there. I actually started at the university in the bioengineering program, but I decided to transfer to industrial engineering once I got involved with OTCR Consulting on campus. It's a consulting group on campus, um, and I figured out that I was really interested in consulting as a career. And so once I decided I wanted to pursue consulting instead of maybe medicine or graduate school, then I applied to the industrial engineering program and uh, I was accepted, so that's why I chose industrial engineering. It kind of, the curriculum was more aligned to a consulting or more of a corporate type job after graduation. I was really interested in kind of both business and engineering, and the fact that you get to choose concentration, which kind of allows you to get your core engineering focus down, but also allows you to I guess kind of customize the program the way you want really was attractive for me. I was looking for a way to be able to solve math problems but find a way to make a living doing it. So I figured that solving math problems applied to business would be a pretty rational decision for someone to make. So I found that that was best encapsulated within industrial engineering. So that's what drew me to the program. You have flexibility in deciding where, you, where your career could develop. So the skill sets that you're going to learn in ISC are just amazing. ISC is really all about solving problems. We focus on problems. Uh, in my career today, I still solve problems. And it's, it's, it's based upon what I learned and how to solve problems at Illinois and ISC. What I really liked about ISC is it gave me the opportunity to focus on control systems as well as get a really great um, background in engineering and problem solving and working in groups and um, even the business aspect of it. So I got exposed to a lot but still got to focus on the technical side in control systems, which led me to this career path. ISE really helped um, prepare me for the business side and the engineering side of things at the same time. So those two paired together, um, 
I think kind of set me up for success. I'm so grateful and lucky that I went to the University of Illinois and got my degree in engineering. Uh, it's, it, it was a, trained me to be a, a problem solver. I can solve problems in any, any function, in any industry. And, you know, it's, I'm a very quick learner. I think I was trained you know, to do problems, to organize information, organize people, organize teams, do projects. Uh, I really endowed me with a, a great uh, mindset. And I think that, that foundation was key to you know, allowing me to do lots of different things over the course of my career so, so far. I definitely did not expect to, I guess, maybe click with the students as much. You know, there's always a stereotype that engineers are always studying or they're always doing this or that, but I've met some really amazing friends who are in the department who are into sports, entrepreneurship, and just so many other things. And just seeing how many unique, different types of people come through the program, it's amazing to me. I really just want to go back and emphasize that the culture of the department, and so I've made so many lifelong friends from classes and um, through the department, and it was really the best decision I made to choose to transfer into industrial engineering for my career and for my college experience as a whole.